So The Sims 4 just released two new kits, one being the Basement Treasures Kit, which we'll review later. But I am super interested in the Greenhouse Haven Kit. Since EA doesn't pay me to review these kits and I use my own money, let's get an honest review of this new kit. It says, Welcome to The Sims 4 Greenhouse Haven Kit. A room to grow. This kit includes build items designed for creating the perfect greenhouse structure. Craft an ideal windowed haven for your sims to indulge their green thumbs and live out their garden fantasies. Signs of life. Even the most organized gardeners need tools, pots, plant starters, gloves, and spray bottles to make your greenhouse look like a space your sim loves to spend time in. So it goes back and forth. There's one of a sim inside a greenhouse, and then the other one is the exterior of the greenhouse. So let's get started. So I want to see what this kit comes with, and is it worth it? All right, so let's check out what this kit has. Because I'd like to really build a greenhouse. So I'm going to filter by the kits. And I am going to first open these like pre-made rooms. So we have a panned planting space. So if you are not creative or you just don't want to waste time with stuff, you can actually buy pre-made rooms. Buy room. Let's check this one out. So these are the pre-made rooms here. So it looks like we have, ooh, this little tray of like starting seeds. Pots and dirt and clay pots. Little spray bottles, more pots and pots and pots and pots. A hanging plant. A grow light, looks like. It looks like some type of planting station. Some shelves with starter seeds. These are, like, little areas to grow stuff. And then, obviously, we have the, like, plant raised plant bed. Nice. All right, these are all the items that came with the kit that I could find. If you find another one that I miss, please let me know in the comments down below. But I mean, these items definitely have a lot of swatches to them. We're going to find out if they actually have, you know, actions to them or are they just decorations? I'm guessing most of them are decorations. Some lovely swatches. So the items are cute. We're going to see if they're playable. And then so these three items are windows. You have one that's open, which is nice to let air flow in. A normal standard side and a really tall window, depending on what size wall you have. You have a single door, a double door, and a double tall door. You have this fan that allows air circulation. Because if you don't know anything about greenhouses, you need air circulation to actually run a greenhouse. Then you have this gabled piece here that just looks like the vents. So that you have like a complete looking greenhouse. If we look at the one that the Sims team made, they also have this wallpaper here, which is greenhouse wall. So you can change it to make it be whatever you want. But you can change it so that it has a different color whatnot. Or you can be solid colored or brown if you'd like it here. So let's see if these items are actually playable. View, 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 view. Ooh, you can actually open this. Oh, you can actually stash stuff in this chest. That's good. That's a good sign. So one item is playable. So none of these items are really playable except for the chest, which is nice. I like that. You can actually store stuff in here. Like a at home inventory. So you have different fertilizers that you want to use. You can stash them here so you don't have to carry them around all the time. Or different seed packets or whatnot. It's nice. You have this new flooring that looks like paver patterns, which is nice. But it has like the weeds growing up. So it creates more of a realistic look. So let's actually build a greenhouse. Let's go in build mode. It's going to make a standard size greenhouse. Because our sim has a green thumb. Or the want to have a green thumb. I want a double door. In like khaki colored. Wow, that's not centered. Give me a second. Ah, oh, that's centered. <laughs> so I'm actually going to lower the walls to the lowest setting. And I'm going to use these windows. Because I like the variety that this gives you. So you're going to have these. And then we're going to have a few that open. Like that. All right, this is the start of our greenhouse. We have all the walls. So I'm going to put the new greenhouse flooring in. Wait, what? Does it come in different colors? Ooh, yes. Terracotta brick. Oh, I'm going to use real brick. Do I have less weeds with the brick? No, I have the same amount of weeds. Okay, that's fine. Let's put a roof on this sucker. I'm going to do a little gabled roof down so I can use the new area, right? Or that new gabled piece. Ah, the green gable. Is that what it is? Yes. Except we're going to make it tan. Oh, I see. I made too big of a greenhouse. Let's shift it this way then. Yank. Just pull it in. 
Ah, much nicer. Use the other green gable here. That way it looks beautiful. Really greenhousey. And they have the new greenhouse glass. The roof. The glass roof. Woohoo! Look how sharp. Look how beautiful. She's beautiful. So instead of having to do all like the funky stuff that we used to have to do to make greenhouses, this is the new greenhouse. So let's actually paint it so that you don't see like the ickiness, right? Inside and out. And then let's change the roof line to something with more character. Ah, yes. She's beautiful. I love it. Now let's add some of our items in here. So overall, if you like useless clutter in the game, sure. The only handy thing that I would actually give this would be the windows, the walls, and the roof to actually make a greenhouse, if that's what you're into. Because I know a lot of people were super interested on in how to like make the glass roof and the glass like walls to make it look like they have a good greenhouse by like stacking windows, full floor windows with different packs and whatnot. So this, if you truly want the aesthetic of a greenhouse in your game, it's worth the $5, I think, for the windows, the roof system, and maybe this crate. Because I think this would be a good storytelling item if you want to throw it in your game. But overall, you can achieve all of these things without this pack. So you can achieve a greenhouse without this pack. This is really just... You want to add storyline and clutter to your game? By all means. Because you really can't interact with any of these things. It's just fun junk. So overall, you're getting clutter. Some windows, a roof line, some pavers, and three types of doors. So overall, the experience is... Eh. It's a cute pack, don't get me wrong. And I have it in my game, so I'll probably add it into my storytelling of, you know... Gardening all year round because I have seasons and you can't grow anything in the winter. So I'd probably give this pack a 2 out of 5. Just because if you weren't creative at building and you wanted a greenhouse, now you can do it super easily. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. What is your favorite item in this pack? Or do you think it's worth it? Because I don't really think it is. So if you enjoyed today's video, hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out on any more Sims 4 content, reviews, and Let's Plays. And if you really enjoy chaos, check out the Let's Plays that are on the screen. They are amazing. And with that being said, I will catch you in the next one. See ya.